Hey guys, we're doing a DIY challenge with Heidi Sumball. Um, definitely want to make sure that you guys go and watch the playlist with the multi-talented young ladies. Supplies that we're going to need on hand, definitely the paint, and here are some additional supplies that we're going to be also incorporating with our new design. And here we definitely have some cushion. Um, I actually got this from Walmart for $28. And don't worry, it was actually delivered. Here's a layout of all the pieces that we're gonna need. Down below, I'll have all the cuts that we actually use for this um, so that you can make it as well. Here we are about to start our cuts. Um, definitely wanna make sure you're being safe. Everyone's out of the way. Here, we'll just add a few more cuts and we're about to start our project. Now we'll go ahead and put it together. And here you'll just see where we're making sure the fit is nice and snug. As you can see, it's a lot of screwing and piecing and holding and prepping and you just continue to repeat until you have your final project. Enjoy. Here I'm actually adding on pieces that I decided to incorporate that were not in our previous cut list. I will also add them below. Here we're just adding the side braces in order to make sure the foundation is sturdy before we continue to proceed forward. Um, as you can see, we've made quite a bit of progress here. And now we're just trying to assemble it all together. While we're at it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you guys in many more projects to come. Okay, it's good. I just wanted to chime in real quick just to say that it took about three coats of paint in order to get it completely covered but that's just a perfectionist so if you want to just stop at two coats you would be perfectly fine doing so
here, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and get the little ones involved. So we made a little pathway um, going up to our new addition to our play area. Here you're going to see me use a star that I got from Dollar Tree um, to incorporate it to make our stars on top of the white spray paint that we just did for our pathway. I just lightly spray on the actual cardboard cutout itself and onto slightly overlapping in order to get a mist of the red spray and to do the outline. And here's the final look at the project. I definitely love the way that it came out. It's absolutely stunning and the little ones enjoyed it as well. And here's our bench all complete with the final touches of paint. You can see that white, white glistening with the three coats of paint. Uh, definitely enjoyed this portion as well. Here we have the final look. I've incorporated the uh, Dollar Tree um, pieces of fabric that they're now extending to us as well. And a crib with a crib sheet that was um, laid on top of the mattress in order to give it a nice splash. It was a two for one. And we also use an 80 cent decoration that's used for parties um, to give it a little bit of splash for 4th of July. And then you'll also see the cup holders added as well for the drinks to be nicely um, placed so that they're not knocked over by little feet.
I hope you enjoyed our video and the fun that we had. I um, definitely hope that this inspires you to go ahead and participate for the quarantine time. Enjoy. Love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe.